Okay guys, I want to show you about Composer today. Uh, Composer is a, a very useful program for you if you're uh, at all interested in designing your own web page and you don't like the uh, templates that are available. So you're going to go to my website. Uh, by the way, I'm going to go through this really fast. I'm actually going to build a website in less than 10 minutes. This is my personal website. You're going to go down to free tools. It's joshthomas80.com by the way and for now you're going to scroll down to composer web design software and you're going to click on get it here it goes directly to the page you click download uh, you pick your uh, operating system and you're good to go so once you do all of that you're going to get this icon here and you're going to get something that looks like this so i'm just going to whip through this i'm going to show you how easy it is to build a site if there's something you don't understand that's okay uh, don't worry I actually have created a design uh, designed a course specifically for this program and how to uh, build a site very quickly with no prior knowledge I had no prior web design knowledge before I started using composer here okay so what I've done is I've opened up the page and I changed the main background to gray just to provide a little contrast so what we're going to do is we're going to add a table. We're going to do, this is going to be our header. This is going to be our main body. Bam, done. Okay, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now, but it will. Okay, so we're going to make this about, let's say, seven or eight, 800, uh, give or take 800 uh, pixels. Okay, so I'm going to make this cell smaller let's say we're gonna make it a hundred pixels okay and it'll automatically adjust the other ones okay and again this doesn't make a lot of sense yet but it will okay and uh, I don't know that looks kind of funky so let's make it a little smaller okay uh, again we're not going for uh, fashion awards here I just want to make something that's actually functional so that you can see uh, how this all works okay I'm gonna change this background to red Okay, looks good. And then I'm going to change this background to, uh, uh, let's say, beige. Okay, I like beige. Uh, we're going to do this one in beige also. You should be able to select both of the cells, but sometimes you find little bugs in Composer. It is open source software, it's free. So there are uh, little bugs that are being fixed all the time. So what we're going to do here is we're going to join these cells together. table there we go join selected cells and this is going to be our text cell we're going to change that to white so that we can type some uh, text in there and it'll be easy to see with a black font okay looks good so far so this is going to be our headline we're going to center that text and we're going to call it my site y'all and I can say y'all because I'm from Kentucky and I live in Texas now, so it's pretty much okay. Uh, all right, we're going to change that text to white, get some good contrast going, uh, make it a little bit bigger and bolder, a little bit bigger, sure, why not? Okay, now this is a spot where we're going to add an image. We're going to insert an image right here. And so I'm going to go to my file, and I have, uh, let's see, quick pics. Let's try photo 25. Okay, got to give it some alternate text. Since it's me, I can make the alternate text awesomeness because I'm awesome. Okay, and whoa, see that's too big. So we're going to make that a little smaller. It's just an easy little self-adjust thing. Done, about 100 pixels. Uh, we can clean that up later if we want to make it fit into the box, but our, uh, our goal right now is functionality. This is some um, sample text for my home page. It's really cool. And then just for fun, I'm going to add a link to my website just to show you how that works. Okay, now this is going to be our nav bar. Uh, obviously, you can add as many of these as you want, but. Um, <clears throat> We're just going to keep it basic for now. I want to show you how this all works. Okay, so here is our page. 
what we're going to do is we're going to save this and we're going to say that's called home and we're going to call it every home page should be called index.html you can see it right there at the top home and then the file is index.html okay now what we're going to do is oh yeah we're going to make this a an active link so all we have to do to link it is type in the name of the page we want it to link to index.html done okay so that is going to link to our home page and this is going to be our second page so we're going to hit link and we're just going to call our second page page2.html okay done okay now that's an active link so instead of doing all of that again if you want the second page to look exactly like this what you do so it's already saved as index.html so we're going to save as we're going to change the name to page2.html okay now what we have is when we go and open up our index again uh, where is it lcps there we go we open up our index again okay now we have two pages that are identical this one's called page two and so we're going to change the title of this one go down to page title and properties and we're going to change it to page oops, page two just so you can see a difference right here in the uh, in the tabs okay and then on page two we're going to change it this is page two and then we're going to say here is some alternate text to see that my multi page site works correctly and then a little smiley face just for good measure I like to smile about things right doesn't everybody okay so now we have our multi page website um, so we've got two pages there and we want to see you know what's that going to look like if we put it on the internet so we're going to go up here to this little button here called browse and we're just going to hit browse and this is this uh, opens it up in Firefox this is what it would look like if it were on the internet in Firefox so we've got our home and you can see when you get over there you've got the uh, the hand that tells you that's an active link so this is some sample text for my home page it's really cool and then we've got my link I, I didn't make that link active but I can and then I go to page two and bam so I have a multi-page functioning website and I put it together in less than five minutes Okay, and there are a lot cooler things that we can do uh, with this program. I'm going to make this link active here just to show you what happens. Okay, it's already filled everything in. Okay, I'm going to save. And we're going to browse. We're going to look at that again. Okay, so then we click on that and look, it takes you to my home page. It actually is an active link, it takes you on the internet. Even though this page isn't officially published, uh, it, will, it will still make your links active if they go somewhere so pretty cool stuff I have designed a um, course with over an hour worth of video that breaks this down for anybody that is interested in building a website uh, from scratch and you're tired of using the those basic templates that you get with your you know if you buy a domain or something like that they're, they're really constricting and uh, this program is pretty easy to understand and it's it's pretty easy to figure out if you have somebody that shows you how to do it so uh, I do invite you to jump on my email list and uh, get some more uh, practical tips like this that are, are gonna help you grow your online business okay so thanks for checking this out this is composer and remember uh, you can get that at my website joshthomas 80.com and go to free tools and click on composer to download that and there's also a lot of other cool stuff there cool Thanks. We'll see you guys in a while.